Everybody, welcome to the ESOL 6503 practicum with English language learners. Glad you're with us today. I thought I'd do a short introduction to your syllabus just so we can make sure everybody's on the same page. This course is just a little bit different than um, courses you've taken in the past. It is truly focused on you and your teaching in your classroom. And um, so it's a supervised, field-based, experienced class. We will still have some forums and that sort of thing. But I'm really looking at you putting into practice some things that we've talked about and some things that you've learned in other courses on helping English language learners. You'll see the required textbooks there. Um, you'll need the techniques and principles in language teaching. And then the other one is a PSYOP book that you should already have, and you'll just need to go back and review that. On the next page, you'll see our course objectives. Um, this is also getting you ready to take the praxis, and so we want you to look at different language teaching methods and see similarities and differences among them and comparing their use of the first language in program models, um, the pros and cons of the different teaching methods, um, how culture is um, incorporated and, um, and how important it is in different uh, teaching methods, and then finally to be able to actually plan and implement effective lessons for use for your English learners. Below the course objectives you see the unit goals. Those are the same as any course that you've taken in the School of Education. And the course requirements, um, similar to what you've seen before, the attendance, make sure you do all the forums, any wikis, any Adobe Connect, and that sort of thing. The technology, and this is really, really important, you have to have um, high internet speed when we do our Adobe Connect. Um, you want to have that. You also will need Focus X2i, and I'll talk to you later about that. If you haven't downloaded that yet, we'll get you set up with, with that because we'll need that as we're viewing our lessons. Um, assignments, of course, you know to put them through Moodle. Uh, I'll be coming out to your classroom a couple times. This is my favorite part and thing to do is visiting teachers in your classroom. Um, I'll try to do an observation towards the beginning of the course and then one towards the end of the course and we can see some areas that uh, you've improved on, some really areas of strength, some areas that maybe you need to think about and that sort of thing. Then there's a teacher work sample. Some of you have done this in your undergrad classes and it is not as extensive as your undergrad one was. But it's still looking at the contextual information and the learning environment, um, what your instructional design is and how you're implementing it, and then your reflection of student learning. So we will look at all three of those components. Finally, you'll videotape yourself and do a self-assessment and then have a peer review of that lesson. And a lot of times people, when it's peer reviews, are like, oh. But once people are done, they always say, that was so helpful. I got so much good information from my partner. It was so good to have somebody else look at my teaching and give me suggestions and so on. And then your final will be the TESOL standards paper. We'll look at professionalism. And you'll write a paper um, indicating how you're doing on meeting the TESOL um, professionalism domain. Then you can see our class schedule and assignments and organize like it is in every other class. So I always do an agenda in Moodle for each week, but if you ever have any questions about what's coming up, that sort of thing, um, make sure that you go back and you can look at the syllabus. Um, it has all the due dates and, and so forth in it right now. Um, just a couple reminders, and you, you got this in your email, but we do have a couple of Adobe Connects. One's during week four, and you can either attend on March 30th at 4.30 or the 31st at 7 o'clock. And then we also have another one in, during Unit 8. And in this one, I figured I'd give you enough time um, that you'll be able to schedule it that we have an Adobe Connect on April 25th at 7 p.m. And that's when I'd like everybody in the same one. That's when you'll be working with your partner and 
um, conferencing with your partner or partners about your videotape. So we want to make sure that you're able to attend that session. Finally, you'll see again the assignments and when they're due, all on a chart, and then the grading scale, and then just the course policies and guidelines. Nothing new that you haven't seen before. Um, all your papers should be in Times New Roman, 12 points, you know that. Honesty policy, just making sure you're doing your work and making sure you're citing appropriately. Um, late work policy, again, I always say if you just don't have late work, you don't have to worry about it. But if you do submit something late, it is 10% off each day, up to 30% off. And after the three days or 30% off, you can still turn it in, but it's not worth any credit. So, of course, if something... Um, drastic comes up, just email me, call me, and let me know, and we can work work with you. If you want to keep your papers after the class is ended, most of you will just keep them on your computer, but if something happens and you want them, let me know, and I can get them to you. Um, if you need any accommodations or support, there's the accommodations and Kresge, where to, where to go with that. Uh, Smart Thinking also has tutoring, and that's good for writing, too. You can submit writing things and get um, some feedback. Um, the Maybe Library has lots of resources, so make sure you look through that. Task Stream, you will need to submit um, your, um, your teacher work sample to Task Stream. I have to do it for our data collection. I have to grade it in that. Um, and I can't, I just can't get in there unless you submit something. So I need you to submit that into Task Stream. And of course, at the end, I really want and value your feedback on the course to so make sure you, that you do the course evaluations. Kansas Educator Code of Conduct, you've seen those before. And then uh, the references for the, the course. So that's it in a nutshell. Of course, I want you to go back and read the syllabus in, in its entirety. But just wanted you to do to have a quick overview of the syllabus. As always, if you have any questions, concerns, um, or anything you want to talk about, just give me a call or shoot me an email. I look forward to working with all of you. Thanks so much, and let's get started on the course.